In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the multi-select function to make your editing in GarageBand a breeze. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And we're back here in GarageBand. This is my track called There's No Such Thing As College. It sounds like this. And as you can see, we've got a lot going on here. We've got a drummer track, a bunch of guitars, and then a bunch of vocals down at the bottom here. So if I'm coming to editing and mixing this, there's a bunch of tricks, and I've shown in other videos how you can do some mixing and editing. But one thing that I use all the time and I wanted to show you today is the ability to select multiple items and make changes to multiple selected items at the same time. I've got three different ways I'm going to show you, and that's what we're going to dive into now. Oh, and if you stick around to the end, I've got a use for this that I learned just yesterday from one of my my viewers, which is actually super cool and something I didn't know about. So the first way we can select multiple items is what I've been showing you so far, which is that we can actually tap and hold on one item like this, and then we can tap other items and select multiple at once. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, let's say that you wanted to adjust the volume of a bunch of things at once. So you may not do it across different things, but say we have these two guitars and this section here, we wanted both of these guitars to be at a, at a higher volume. We can tap on this first one, tap and hold, tap the bottom one there. And then if we tap on one of these and tap settings, we can now adjust the settings for both of these. So if you wanted to adjust the gain, you can see up the top there, it says two regions. If we wanted to adjust the gain, we can do all of that. You can do this for multiple regions as well. So across multiple different tracks in different places, wherever you want to go, and you'll be able to once again come in and change the settings. The other thing we can do is if we want to move some audio around. So let's just say we wanted to select this item here and this item here, we can do that. And then if you tap and hold both of these, they will move together. So if you want to reposition them down there for some reason, you can go ahead and do that. Now, when you're using this, undo is your friend. Make sure you know where your undo button is because it's quite easy to make a mistake with that. So that's the most simple and probably the most common method of doing this. If you just want to select multiple things, tap and hold, tap on the other ones, and then you can do a bunch of different things by selecting multiple items. However, you've probably already assumed this, but what we can't do is select a drummer item and our other items and do much with them. Because if we come in here and go to settings, it doesn't give us all that. It says there's four regions there, but because one's a drummer track and one is audio track, it's not going to give us all those same options. The same with green MIDI tracks and blue and yellow drummer tracks. So keep that in mind that you can't do the same changes on all of the different tracks all of the time. The second method is something that I use quite a lot as well. Let's say that we wanted to move all of these vocals together right back to the start of the song. Well, what we can do is we can actually tap and hold on any of the blank spaces and we get our magic square. And what we can do is drag our magic square across any tracks. Now, of course, the tracks need to be next to each other to use the square. You can't sort of do one square and then another square. But now we've got access to all of these tracks. We can tap and hold. And again, we can drag them to any part of the project and release. So we want them right at the start start of the project, we can release like that and we're good to go. And now if we go back to the start of the song, I watched a movie. I'm starting to sing before the music. Not particularly useful in this case, but I'm sure you can see how this becomes super powerful and we'll just undo that so I don't forget to do it again. Uh, again, we can tap here and we can change some other settings. So you can also cop copy, oops, tapped it. You can also cut, copy, paste, do everything else that you can do with your editing controls. And if you want to learn more about editing, there are more videos linked down in the description. So it's super handy for that editing and mixing process because instead of just selecting one item at a time, you can select multiple. Now keep in mind you can't do the same with your actual track settings so you'd know we have track settings over here like automation and merge. You can't actually multiple select. As soon as you hold down there it actually lets you move that track so it's a different function there. But there you go. The magic box is another very cool way to select multiple items. And the third way that we have is something that's super simple and you may have discovered this by accident. If you tap on any blank space you'll notice that not only do you have paste, if you've copied some audio you can paste it in, we have select all and if we tap select all, there you go. It's going to multi-select every single item in your entire project. Now, I find this super useful if, say, you've left a lead in here when you've been recording, but now you want your audio to go right up to the front. So it starts as soon as you hit play. We can do that. We can, again, we'll just tap off. Uh, tap off like that, tap again in a blank space, hit select all, grab on any piece of audio and drag it all to the left. As soon as it won't go any further to the left, you know you're at the front, you can release. And then if we come back to the very start of the track and hit play, 
And what you can hear is despite my best efforts with the undos, I've actually undone something and things aren't synced up. Anyway, uh, this is a backup project, so thankfully I do that every time. Now, I did promise you something a bit special, and I learned a technique just yesterday, which I'm going to show you now, which I had never thought about, but now that I think about it, it's probably something I should have known. Let's jump in and show you that now. So if you're recording vocals or guitars or live instruments in GarageBand, you probably end up with something like this at the end where all of the ends are not aligned and you want to be able to bring these back. So the way I've been doing this in the past is I zoom in on this and I just grab each handle and sort of bring them back and line them up and do our thing like this and then you're just getting in the right space. That's okay and that's doable. Let's just undo a bunch of that. But there is a better way and it is using the methods that we've been showing in this video. So what we can actually do and this is what my buddy Marcel in Canada uh, put me onto, is if we want to split multiple items in one spot, all we need to do is multi-select them. So if I'd use my multi-select, let's just use the tap and hold method, multi-select these four. If we tap on one of them and we bring up our split cursor, we can move our split cursor to the point that we want it. Then we can drag down to split and look what happens here. It has split all of those items. Now I should have probably known this because I knew in the past that we had all of these options. I just never actually tried split. So go figure, maybe you already knew this, but I think it's pretty cool because now all we need to do is use our magic box, tap, tap again, hit delete, and there you go. If you need to cut off a bunch of different tracks and the same at the start, if you've got starts that are, that are not in the right spot, instead of having to do that painstaking process, if you want them all to start at the same spot, but you've recorded them with some lead in and lead out, this can be a pretty cool way to do that. So big thank you to Marcel for putting me on to this tip. So there you go, multi-select, a great way to make edits and adjustments on a bunch of different tracks and a bunch of different audio items at the same time. I hope you found this useful. There's more videos down in the description that you can check out all about editing in GarageBand, and I'll see you next time.